Hey there, how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. This week's grocery haul will be from three different grocery stores. I am picking things up from Walmart, Target, and Aldi. Um, this is my second time at Aldi and I realized the first time I was here I can definitely get a better deal on produce and a few other specific items. And thankfully where I live, all three of those stores are in a close enough radius to where um, it doesn't make that big of a difference or it's not that much of a hassle for me to go to each individual store to get the items I need to save a little money. It's not going to cost me more to travel to them, if that makes sense. Um, so I already did a Target pickup order and I already went inside Walmart and got the stuff I'm getting from those two places. I'm here at Aldi and I'm about to go in there now. I don't typically get groceries from Target. The reason I did that is because this week they're doing their Target deals for days and they're trying to run a bunch of sales and promotions. And I believe the day I post this, Tuesday, July 12th, I want to say it is, they're still doing it today. And I think they'll still be doing it tomorrow, Wednesday the 13th. And anyway, the promo is if you spend $50 on groceries and other select home items, you get a $10 Target gift card. And on top of that, they were running um, deals and discounts on certain grocery items. So what I did when I placed the Target grocery pickup order is I was going back and forth between my Target and Walmart apps and I was comparing prices on the specific items I was getting and I only chose to get it at Target if it was a equal or lesser value than what it was priced at Walmart. So that's what I did there. So I picked up some stuff from Target, some stuff from Walmart, and like I said, now I'm gonna go into Aldi and get a few more things. Um, I did go inside Walmart and try to film like some new items for you guys. I was doing that every grocery haul and I've skipped it the last few. Um, I don't think it's something I'm going to be able to keep up with every video because like they're not stocking new stuff every single week and I can't like drive all around town. Um, but I did do it for this week. So after I read you our weekly meal plan, I'll go ahead and insert the clips from Walmart. And also I chose to do the new items at Walmart because I, I think Walmart is the one retailer that most people have near them. Okay, so our meal plan for this week, Monday, yesterday, we did every man for himself. Uh, I've never, I've never written that on my meal plan before. I actually got that idea from Jen over at Southern Mama Drama. She includes that in her meal plan and I just think it's a cute funny name uh, and it's actually true because it's like it's just another way of saying leftovers but also not just leftovers you know like somebody can throw in a frozen pizza or something um, so yesterday we did every man for himself we each had different items today I am going to make chicken curry over rice Wednesday we'll have some red snapper with macaroni and cheese and vegetables we have a frozen red snapper filet we got from a local um, seafood market Thursday, I'm going to make steak fajitas. Friday, I am going to do a pork roast. Saturday, we'll likely go out. Raymond's best friend is coming in town and we have a birthday party to go to. Um, so we'll be busy on Saturday. So we'll likely eat out. And on Sunday, we are going to grill hamburgers and hot dogs. All right, that's it for our meal plan for the week. I am going to go ahead and insert the clips of me finding new things in Walmart. And then I'm going to take you home and show you everything that we picked up for the week. Hmm, they say they're new. They're the Frosted Mini Wheats cinnamon roll flavor. Uh, Frosted Mini Wheats is actually Ava's favorite cereal. So when we run out of our box we have at home, I might pick these up for her to try. They've got a new flavor in the Mott's applesauce. This is pineapple banana and it has no sugar added. Also this applesauce variety pack says it's new. It has six strawberry, six apple, and six mango peach. So a total of 18 for $6.88. This Nesquik hot fudge sundae says it is a new flavor. I'm not sure how new it actually is because I don't typically buy powdered chocolate for our chocolate milk. I get the syrup, um, but it says new, so I'm sharing it with you. These maple flavored Eggo Pop-Tarts are new. Pretty appropriate for the new Stranger Things season that's out right now. These white cheddar Cheez-It snack packs are also new. You get 12 snack packs for $5.34. It says they've got a new flavor in these Lance, um, I guess they're not crackers, they are cookies. These are 
fudge sandwich cookies. New flavor. Great little sweet treat in a lunchbox. I'm not sure that these are exactly new, but they do say limited edition. They're Neapolitan flavored Oreos with the golden cookies. Here's another one that doesn't say new, but it does say limited time only, and that is this vanilla sundae cone drumstick coffee creamer. Looks like we have some fall snacks coming out. Looks like all the sauces have something new to offer. This Hellman's Spicy Mayonnaise says it's new. I know spicy mayonnaise itself isn't new. Maybe it's because this is medium heat. And this doesn't say new, but I've never seen the Spicy Ranch Seasoning Mix. This plant-based ranch is new. They do have it in just the regular ranch flavor and also in a spicy flavor. This Duke's Bacon and Tomato Mayonnaise says it's new. And it looks like Sweet Baby Ray's finally decided to get a garlic Parmesan wing sauce flavor. These little storage bins over by the school supply stuff are super cute. They have these faux wood lids and then these little holes all throughout and some handles on the side. I see them in olive green a muted pink and then like a gray blue for $9.92. All right, here's everything that we got for the week. I have it separated here. I have Aldi in the middle. I have Walmart and then over here on the right, I have everything I got from Target. So I am going to start on this side with all of the stuff that I picked up from Aldi. By the way, I apologize if my air conditioning is too loud, but it is way too hot outside to turn it off. So I'm gonna do my best to speak up so you can hear me over it. Starting over here on the Aldi side, I did pick up a pineapple, a bag of popcorn chicken, and a little bag of frozen cheese raviolis. I figured these would just be good to keep in the freezer for when I don't feel like cooking or somebody's being picky. I picked up a package of these organic red grapes and I did get quite a few bags of frozen vegetables from Aldi. I got one, two, three, four, five bags um, because most of their frozen vegetables are under a dollar and that's really hard to come by at Walmart. They're all creeping up to $2 a bag. So the Brussels sprouts were over a dollar, but everything else, um, the corn, mixed veggies, green beans, and broccoli were all under a dollar. I also grabbed this three pack of green bell peppers because we go through green bell peppers the quickest and this three pack was less than $2. I grabbed a pack of white onions, a bag of small avocados, a tub of natural vanilla bean ice cream. This was a few cents cheaper than it would be at Walmart, but um, this is just Ava's favorite ice cream. So I went ahead and picked it up. And they also had my favorite ice cream, which is hard to come by. So I grabbed, oh, see, I told you it's too hot. So I went ahead and picked that up and now I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Okay, anyway, back to my Aldi purchases. I did get a loaf of honey wheat bread. Uh, we always get nature's own honey wheat from Walmart usually. And that's like over $3 a loaf. This one was like a little over a dollar. So I figured we'd try it out. I got some sesame seed brioche buns. We're gonna grill out hamburgers and hot dogs sometime this week. And my kids have actually been talking about wanting some sesame seed buns. So I grabbed those. And then forgetting that I grabbed hot dog buns from Target as well. I got them from Aldi too, because I believe these were less than a dollar. So we're gonna have a lot of hot dog buns, but that is everything from Aldi. Now let's do Walmart. Starting back here, I did get the big thing of spinach and spring mix salad. Uh, I did try Aldi's version of this, but Rob said it had that like dirt taste to it that some salad can have. I did get a box of this Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix because it was like $4.50 and it makes 12 biscuits. And we really liked the frozen already assembled biscuits that you just have to put in the oven, but it was like $5 for eight biscuits. So this was a better deal course got my southern butter pecan creamer we needed some keurig descaling solution and this is half the price at walmart compared to target so we got it from there now like i said i did go to walmart yesterday so these have already been gotten into um, ava was with me so she picked out some cheeto puffs and she got these for raymond because they are his favorite chips and then these are my favorite chips. So I got two little bags of that. We don't necessarily need horseradish for anything right now, but Rob noticed that the one we have in the fridge is expired. So I just grabbed another one to keep on hand. And then of course our weekly, this is a lot to go through weekly. We don't go through it entirely, but we're low enough to where I just want to fill the jar back up. Um, menthol cough drops and the Ricola dual action cough drops. Also, the kids got um, little like sucker push pop thingies. 
but of course they ate them. Oh, and I also got organic tomato ketchup. Okay, now for the Target stuff, I did get this five pound bag of russet potatoes and then this three pound bag of red potatoes. I got Rob three little things of the Too Good blueberry yogurt. I got some pre-washed celery. I got a little bag of cilantro, which I'm kind of regretting. It does not look the best. I got two packs of au jus gravy. Our Walmart actually didn't have any, so it worked out having to get groceries from Target. Um, I picked up two of those and then two fajita seasoning mixes. My Sargento balanced breaks. We like getting our cheese from Target anyway, so that also worked out. We like the good and gather cheese. We got medium cheddar. They were all out of pepper jack, so I figured we'd try this Cabot one. Um, Target was running a really good deal on this Jimmy Dean ground pork sausage. I believe it was less than $4 a pound. So I just went ahead and got three pounds of it to stock up on and put some back in the freezer. And then here are the hot dog buns. I said I forgot that I picked up from Target and I was all out of onion powder. So I picked up a jar of that. And that is everything that we got from the week combined with Aldi, Walmart, and Target. Well, except for our ice cream that was melting. Um, I am going to leave the total from each place here on the screen. And then I will also include the grand total as well. That is going to do it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe and to see you next week. Bye.